You'll notice that we do a lot of bowing around here. We show respect to the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, because the Buddha teaches us to respect ourselves. He says that our desire for true happiness, a happiness that's harmless, is something that's realistic and can be done. It is very much worth doing. He offers instructions for that freely. It's not like the world outside where they, they'll buy your time and then make you waste it doing all kinds of meaningless tasks, just so they can show that they have power over you. The Buddha never tried to exercise power over anybody, which is why we voluntarily bow down to him. He never forced it on anyone that he should be respected. It keeps turning us back on ourselves. We have it within us, the possibility, the, uh, the ability to gain awakening, to put an end to our suffering. It's going to require that we work. It's not going to be easy, but it can be done. And that's showing a lot of respect for us. For us. He's not going to be there to be our safety net. He does provide protection in providing reliable instructions. We have to keep falling back on our own honesty. As he said, there are two things he looked for in a student. One was honesty, and the other was good powers of observation. And those are the qualities that will see you through. Because he said the Dharma is nurtured by committing yourself to it and then reflecting on what you've done. The commitment means that you give yourself, you cultivate the desire to do it, you stick with it. You give it your full attention. There's three other bases of success. Then the other base of success goes into the reflection. We were looking at what you actually did, what your true intentions were, what the true results were. And then you're trying to figure out ways of improving. In other words, the Buddha is asking you to be responsible for yourself and saying that you can be trusted to be responsible. It's, we all need some training to get started in the right direction, because we do have some dishonesty in our in our minds, a greed, aversion, greed, aversion, and delusion, those are pretty dishonest. We have to overcome our dishonesty. But we do have the potential for honesty. Our desire not to suffer can be used to make honest people out of us. So when the Buddha shows us this much respect, we should have respect for ourselves too, realizing that we can do this, and not be willing to settle for second or third or fourth best. We will have to learn how to pace ourselves so we know how much we're able to, to take on at any one time. But you find that as you take on tasks that are, stretch you, and you become more and more capable over time, you become a new person. And that new person will bow down even more sincerely to, what the, to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Because that person has seen the results that come from following their teachings and seen how truly worthwhile they are. <laughs>